how to improve your memory and get a better night's sleep are the two most important questions that can not only help you physically, mentally, but inside it can help you get confident and get a better sense of self-respect. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a quick little exercise that you can do every night when you go to bed that can not only help you sleep faster, but it can also work on your memory. And to top it off, it's free. It's all in your head. So let's get started. So when it comes to working with your memory and helping your memory get stronger and stronger, you need to look at it as if you're going to exercise. The only way you can lift a 200 pound weight is that if you start slowly. If I go to gym today and try to lift a 200 pound weight, it's not gonna happen. I will definitely hurt myself. So I'm gonna start at 10, maybe 20, 30. Tomorrow I go 40. The next day I go 60, then I go 90. Then I go 150 and maybe eventually at one point I can lift 200 pounds, 250 and even if I continue, I can master weightlifting. There is nothing impossible when it comes to our ability and our capability because truly we are abundance of potential. Anything that we put our mind into it, it can be accomplished. It won't happen overnight, but if you give it enough time, attention, and focus, anything can happen. Remember, the only thing that stands between you and your goal is you yourself. As long as you're able to defeat your own negative habits, then anything becomes possible. Same thing goes with our memory. And how is that related to our sleep? Well, let's first focus on our memory side and how we can maybe boost that. So here's a quick exercise. The first step to improve your memory and get a better night's sleep is to accomplish all your tasks that you do before going to bed, regardless of what it is. If it's brushing your teeth, washing your face, checking your phone for the last time, making sure you respond to that last email that you haven't responded, do everything that you have to do. And then go to your bed, put everything aside, put your phone on silent, put it on vibrate. The thing that I do it's a quick tip is that I put my phone on airplane mode from a certain time. I know that every night approximately at 10 o'clock I go to bed and I wake up till at 6 o'clock. So what I do, I have set my phone to go on airplane mode automatically every night at 10 o'clock and come out of airplane mode at 6 o'clock. You do you, whatever works for you, this is what you need to do. Then, once you get inside of bed, get comfortable. This is the fun part. Get as comfortable as you want. Once you're in bed, you're comfortable, get two sets of number. These two sets of number needs to be comprised of five digits. So the first number is a five digit number and the second number is another five digit number. Just add them up together. Once you get the result, get that result and in your head, multiply it by two. Was that tricky? Let me go over it one more time. You need two sets of number. I'm gonna say five, four, six, seven, plus five, four, two, eight. And then I'm gonna add them up together. This might be a little challenging for you, but if it's too much for you, get a four digit number. If it's still challenging for you, get a three digit number. Remember, the key is practice, practice, practice. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. So maybe not the first night you're gonna be able to do a five digit number. Maybe the first night you're gonna be able to do a four digit number or three digit or even two digit number. But as you practice, you get better at this. Now, once you have the result, you're gonna multiply them by two. So I'm gonna get, for example, a two digit number, one, two, plus one, two. I get 24 and then I'm gonna multiply it by two. See how that works? And then subtract it by whatever number you want. And then divide them by two. So again, you're gonna get two sets of number. You will add them up together. Then 
you would multiply it by two minus whatever number you want to minus and then at the end you're gonna divide it by two was that easy maybe not but if you practice it this will ensure that your mind is working at its best time there is a lot of study that has been done that doing memory boosting activity at night can help your cognitive level improve this not only works right now and helps you be sharper when you get up in the morning or when you do your everyday tasks or when you want to do quick math but this also helps you in the long run in future as long as you keep your mind flexible this will keep going studies showed before that our mind declines after a certain age but new studies have debunked those old theories and shows that we're flexible our mind is made out of flexible material it's called plasticity plasticity means that our mind is flexible and as long as we keep working on it we are able to make it stronger and stronger let me give you an example think about someone's grandma or even your own grandma they never knew how to knit but then they went to retirement home they found new friends and they started knitting next thing you know you get sweatshirts every Christmas how is that happening they didn't know how to knit they learn a new habit they learn how to use their mind and as long as you keep improving and working on your mind your mind gets stronger and stronger this is the key as long as you practice, you can keep this mind sharp, focused, and in line with whatever you wish to do. So, the question comes, how will this help me sleep? Well, this is easy. As long as you keep your mind busy like this, you'll be surprised how quickly you get tired. Maybe you won't even be able to finish the whole thing, and in the middle of it, you sleep. Maybe you finish it and you're still not sleepy, so you do it again and do it again just don't overdo it try to sleep the goal is to just give your mind a little treat think about it as feeding your brain we all feed our body and that's important right if I don't eat food today I'll be grumpy same thing with our mind our mind needs to get fed as well or our body you need to exercise move around to keep your mind and body in shape Imagine sitting on the chair 24 hours a day for days and days and days and just eating. What will happen to your body? It will collapse. Do this tonight, do this tomorrow, and do this as many nights as you want. But as long as you do this, not only you activate your mind and boost your memory, but you learn how to sleep better and how to keep your mind focused and sharp. As always, thank you for watching. Oh,